it's Daddy Pig. <gasps> Daddy Pig, you're not supposed to ring on this phone. It's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Daddy Pig, shall I light the barbecue now? Yes, please, Mr Rabbit. Do be careful with the barbecue, Daddy Pig. Trust me, Mummy Pig. We daddies know all about barbecues. Bye. Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! 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 Oh, dear. Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Mummy's to the rescue! Whee! Whee! Hold tight. Whee! 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 <laughs> It's Miss Rabbit's fire engine. Yay! Stand back, Daddies! Mummy Dog, turn on the water. Aye, aye, Mummy Pig. The fire is out. It's not one shop, Pepper. It's lots of shops all under the same roof. Wow! But we're not shopping today. Not shopping at the shops? No. Mummy's here for a perfect day experience. Ooh! This is Miss Rabbit's spa. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for your perfect day experience? Yes, I think so. But what exactly is it? Oh, lots of lovely things. You can have a massage. <clears throat> have your fingernails painted. Or have a herbal face wash. Oh, that all sounds lovely. Do we have to do it too, Daddy? No, Peppa. We can go and find our own perfect day. Oh, goody. Bye, Mummy. See you later. Where are we going to find our perfect day, Daddy? Hmm, I don't know. It's just shops and shops and... Ooh, magic moving stairs. That, Peppa, is an escalator. Can we go on it? Yes. Hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. <gasps> it's Susie! Hello! Hello, Peppa. Where are you going? We're going to the top. Where are you going? We're going to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa has reached the top. Quick, Daddy. I need to go down to find Susie. I'm coming to find you, Peppa. I'm coming to find you, Susie. Ah! You're, you're going, going the wrong, wrong way. Peppa and George are back at the bottom. But Susie is at the top. I think that's enough escalators for now. But I need to see Susie. Then we can use the lift. Ooh. I need to find Peppa. Then let's take the lift. It's not working. Someone else is using it. We just have to wait. But I need to find... <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Peppa, look what I've got. <laughs> Little Susie's in boxes. How did you do that? In the photo booth. I'll show you. This is the photo booth. You sit in here, put the money in there, and then it flashes. It's not flashing. See, 
asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for, for Mummy, Mummy Pig! <laughs> It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. No, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book. So we must listen politely, even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. 476-8593... The rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is 476-859? It's George's Happy Mrs Chicken High School. Wow, that is a high school. But where's my funny onion story? It's gone. I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh. But he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle. It's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said... I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. <laughs> funny Onion did something funny and everyone laughed. They laughed and laughed and laughed. The end. Marvellous. I think it speaks to all of us. Very well. Hoopla! That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, which mummy or daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. 
I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? Ah! All the way down the mountain. My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah! Where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah! Stand back! Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Ah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My mummy is skiing super fast! Whoa! Whoa! Mummy did a loop the loop! That was fantastic skiing! Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops. Yeah! Ah! How am I going to stop? My goodness, a walking, talking snowman. No, it's just my mummy. <laughs> I have never seen such amazing skiing. This cup belongs to you. Thank you. My mummy is the best at skiing down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a story, please? OK. I'll read you the Red Monkey book. But we always have that one. The Red Monkey has a bath, cleans his teeth and goes to sleep. Uh, yes. That is what happens. Can we choose another story? The Blue Tiger, the Green Spider, the Orange Penguin. Oh, what's this one? The Wonderful World of Concrete. I've been looking for that. Is it your book, Daddy? It's a book I borrowed from the library. What's a library? It's a place you borrow books from. And when you've finished reading them, you take them back. But Daddy Pig has forgotten to take this book back. I have had it for rather a long time. Never mind. You can take it back tomorrow. <laughs> but now it's bedtime. After Daddy reads this story. It's not much of a story, Peppa. Please read it, Daddy. OK. <laughs> the Wonderful World of Concrete. Concrete is a construction material composed of sand, water and chemical admixtures. Chapter 1. Sand. Peppa, George and Mummy Pig have fallen asleep. It is morning. Peppa and her family have come to the library. <laughs> wow! What a lot of books! Shh! Peppa, you must be quiet in the library. Why? Because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please! Miss Rabbit is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. <laughs> Stop, Pepper. Vegetable peelings don't go in the normal bin. They go in this brown bin. Ooh, banana! That's right, George. It's a banana skin. And there are onions and carrots and all sorts of fruit and vegetable leftovers in here. Granny and Grandpa will like these. Do Granny and Grandpa Pig eat potato peelings? <laughs> no, Peppa. They're for Grandpa's garden. They help his plants grow. Ooh. We can take these round there after lunch. Oh, goody. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are taking the vegetable peelings over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We are here. a special present for you. Ah, vegetable peelings. <sniffs> Fantastic. My garden will like these. Does your garden eat vegetables? Oh, oh, oh. no, Pepper. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? 
I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. Yes, Peppa, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top, and then out of the bottom comes lovely, rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, no, Peppa. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. Look. Ah, wriggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> the worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Grandpa, can we find some more wriggly worms for your compost tape? What a good idea. Whee-hee! We're going up in the air. Yes, it can go straight up. <laughs> It can go straight down. Whee! Oh. It can even loop the loop. Whoa! <laughs> poor Daddy, he's missing all the fun. Yes, poor Daddy. One ice cream, please. Mmm, <laughs> that's nice. Maybe we should land now. Emergency! Emergency! Calling rescue helicopter. I'm on my way. You're in luck. We've got a job to do. Mr Bull is digging up the road. Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit! I've got a big metal pipe that needs lifting. OK, Mr Bull. How can you lift that big pipe? With my big magnet. I'm not really sure. I know. I'll put it down here where someone can easily find it. Now I can give you a lift home. But what about Daddy? Hello. Daddy Pig, can you make your own way home? Miss Rabbit is giving us a lift. OK. Daddy, Daddy, we went up and down and round and round. Oh. Oh, I'm really sad to have missed that. See you back at home. <laughs> Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. Mm, it's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. But do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Peppa's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <sniffs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <sniffs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes. Five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Peppa. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Peppa has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Hooray! Puddles. And I taught him to say.
try it. Look, Mummy, a parcel for George and me. Ooh, there's a letter too. Dear Pepper and George, here is a present for you to share. Love from your Auntie Dottie. Auntie Dottie lives far away in another country. Ooh, what is the present? It's got wheels. Car! <laughs> it's not a car, George. It's got legs. It's a table. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a tail. Oh, tables don't have tails. There's a handle as well. What can it be? There's something else in the box. It's a toy horse. I shall call it Twinkle Toes. Or see Twinkle Toes. Or see Twinkle Toes. Or see. Remember, children, Aunt Dottie sent the present for both of you. You'll have to share. Sharing can be fun. Can I play with Twinkle Toes first? Let George have the first turn. He's the youngest. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! <laughs> George likes playing with horsey. George, it is called Twinkle Toes, not horsey. Now it's Peppa's turn. I am Princess Peppa with my magic horse, Twinkle Toes. Peppa likes playing with Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Perhaps you should play with the toy horse outside. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> hmm, it's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Ho, oh, oh, ho, I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I'm a grown-up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Ooh, a present. Is it for me or George? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's not for you or George. Oh, is it a toy? No, it's a glass vase. That's a bit of a boring present. Oh, ho, ho. It's a present for grown-ups. We've bought this for Granny and Grandpa Pig. It's their wedding anniversary. Can me and George buy them a present too? That's very sweet of you, Pepper. But presents can cost a lot of money. We've got money in our piggy bank. Pepper and George have one penny and two buttons to spend. OK, let's go shopping. This is Mr Fox's shop. Hello there. Can I help you? It's Granny and Grandpa Pig's wedding anniversary. They're both very old and need a present. My shop has everything. Oh, I'm sure you'll find something you like. A big teddy. I love it. This can be the present. Peppa, the present is not for you. It's for Granny and Grandpa. Oh, yes. Oh, look! Funny teeth. They're wind-up joke teeth. Very popular. <laughs> Can they be the present for Granny and Grandpa? I think Granny and Grandpa have all the teeth they need, Pepper. Do your Granny and Grandpa like gardening and digging? Yes. Then why not get them a bucket and spade each? Buy one, get one free. They've already got spades and buckets and forks and everything. Oh, dear. I know. Grandpa likes sailing his boat. Say no more. I have everything a sailor could ever wish for. Do you have pirate's treasure? Ah, uh, everything except pirate's treasure. Oh. Maybe Goldie could visit the aquarium. What's the aquarium? The aquarium is a place where there are lots of fish. Shall we go to the aquarium, Goldie? <laughs> that means yes. The family have brought Goldie the fish to the aquarium. I hope we can find Goldie a friend. I'm sure we will, Pepper. The aquarium has every type of fish. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. How many tickets, please? Two grown-ups and two children. And one fish, please. 
the fish goes free. Does the aquarium have every type of fish? Oh, yes. Probably. Good. We're looking for a friend for Goldie. Well, I hope you find one. Enjoy the aquarium. Thank, Thank you. you. The first room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No. They are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! wow. Oh, dear. Now we'll have to wait even longer. Why don't you join us, Mummy Pig? Plenty of tea to go around. That sounds lovely. Thank you, Mr Bull. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice teapot, Mr Bull. Yes, Peppa. <gasps> it's made of delicate china. Mr Bull likes delicate china. You have to be very, very careful with china. Why? Because China can break very easily. <coughs> That's why I always... <gasps> oh, dear. Mr Bull has smashed the teapot to pieces. Oh, no! I put it down too hard. I don't know my own strength. Maybe we can fix it, boss. Oh, I've got cement. I've got a rivet gun. It's not going to work, lads. I know. Miss Rabbit has a china shop. She could mend it. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We'll go right now. Can I come too? We'll all go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Bull is going to the china shop. This is Miss Rabbit's china shop. There we are. Hello, can I help you? Moo! Ah! A ball in a china shop! Hello, Miss Rabbit. I have broken my china teapot. Oh, dear. Can you fix it? Let's have a look. Hmm, that's very broken. I smashed it to bits. Yes, but I think I can fix it. Oh, goody. Can we help? <coughs> of course, Peppa. <laughs> These two pieces fit together. Fixing the teapot is a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Ah, this is the one. How do you know? There are little flowers growing here, just like I remember. Things might have changed, Daddy Pig. Oh, ho, ho. nothing changes that much. Now, we walk past some little trees until we come to a big tree. I think the little trees have grown. Oh, yes. They do all seem big, don't they? How are we going to find the right big tree? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! <laughs> I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. Yet. Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> of course. Ice creams for everyone. <laughs> the cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. 
Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha. It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No. If you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Yes, fun! <laughs> Excellent work, children. Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, and voila! Hooray! Pepper and George have made a big sandcastle. Let's go to the next ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack the soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy! OK, Pepper. <laughs> Pedal faster, Mummy! Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Peppa. <laughs> Nearly finished. There. A lovely wall. Here comes George with a demolition digger. <laughs> oh, dear. George has knocked down Peppa's wall. George! You naughty piggy! <laughs> oh, ho ho! Building things up, then knocking them down! It's all part of the fun at Digger World! <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Uh oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. OK, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back, forward, down. <laughs> We've got the dinosaur. Oh. The dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, try again! Oh no! We got a Mr. Potato doll! <laughs> mummy, Mummy! <laughs> Susie is going to have a new bedroom in a new house! <laughs> yes, Mrs. Sheep has just been telling me all about it. This new job is so much more interesting than the job I have now. And I'm going to learn a new language and do all sorts of exciting new things. <laughs> It sounds wonderful. I can't wait to play in Susie's new room. <coughs> oh, Peppa, Susie is moving to the other side of the world. You won't be able to play with her every day. But I'll see you every day at school, won't I, Susie? Yes, I'll still go to school, won't I, Mummy? You're going to a new school, Susie. Oh, will I ever see you again? Oh, I'm sure you'll see Susie again, Peppa. Yes. Oh, look at the time. We have to go. But, Mummy, we need to play some more. You can play some more tomorrow. Right now, we have to go and pack. Oh, bye-bye, Peppa. See you, Susie. Are you OK, Peppa? I'm sad. It's a bit of a shock, Susie moving away, isn't it? Yes. Why don't you make Susie a going-away card? OK. <laughs> I'm drawing me and Susie and flowers. That's a lovely card, Peppa. Hmm. Would you like to talk to Susie on the phone? Yes, please, Mummy. Hello. Hello, Susie. I'm a bit sad. Me too. Are you still coming to play tomorrow? Yes, please. OK. See you tomorrow. <laughs> it is morning and Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Race you to the next hill! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I will really miss you, Susie. <laughs> and I'll miss you, Peppa. <laughs> I will even miss you bossing me about. What do you mean? You are the bossy one. No, I am not. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> I remember Madame Gazelle gave me a playgroup star when I was a little piggy. A long time ago, when Mummy and Daddy Pig were little, Madame Gazelle was their teacher. <laughs> Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> I was so happy. Did you get lots of playgroup stars, Mummy? Oh, yes. <laughs> Daddy, did you get lots of playgroup stars too? Uh, it was such a long time ago. I really can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't get one, did you? <gasps> you never got a playgroup star, Daddy! No, I never did get a playgroup star. Not even a little one? No. Anyway, like Daddy Pig said, it was a long time ago, Pepper, And they're really not that important. They are very important, aren't they, Daddy? Uh, yes, Peppa. Are you sad that you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? Well, I have done other things in my life to be proud of, you know. Maybe if you do a good drawing and show Madame Gazelle, she will give you one now. Playgroup stars are for children, Peppa, not for grown-ups. There! The roof is all fixed. Thank you, Mr. Bull. That really is wonderful work. Have a playgroup star. Oh, thank you very much. Look, Daddy. Mr. Bull's got a star and he's a grown-up. Hmm. It is evening time. Pepper and George are going to bed. Are you still sad because you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? You know what, Pepper? The more I think about it, the more I think I should have got a playgroup star. Why? Because I love to make things, and I was always drawing in class. What was your best drawing, Daddy? Would you like to see it? I think I've still got it somewhere. These steps take us down into the caves. Ooh, this is fun! Yes, it actually is quite fun. It's good not to know exactly how deep we are. We're a hundred metres down now. Imagine, if you will, the tons and tons of rock just sitting above our heads. Great. Welcome to the caves. Ooh. It's so pretty and sparkly. <sighs> Amazing. Look, there's a little boat. All aboard! <laughs> you know what? Because this cave is so huge and beautiful, I feel fine about being down here. Now we go through this little tunnel. <laughs> it can get a bit squeezy. Breathe in! <gasps> <gasps> Everyone out of the boat! I can't say I enjoyed that. Don't worry, we won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. Wow. So, how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mull said the ride of doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this ride of doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody. <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to... Uh... See you on the other side! Ah! 
Hello, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. I'm here for the relaxation class. Hello, Sports Centre. Relaxation class is through that way. You want to book a bouncy castle? No problem. Hello, is this the relaxation class? Yes. We're all here to find inner happiness and calm. Hello. Welcome to the relaxation class. It's all about leaving stress behind. So please turn off your phones. Relax your bodies. Empty your minds. Hello, Sports Centre. OK, I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Just keep relaxing while I'm gone. <laughs> Hello, children. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We've come for our gym lesson. Yes, the children are very excited. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll just set up the gym for you. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just keep relaxing. Relax. <laughs> hello, Mummy. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Peppa. I've come to do a class. Me too. See you later. <laughs> now, where were we? Uh, we were just starting to relax. Oh, yes. Think of a beautiful woodland glade. Stillness, silence. <laughs> Children, are you ready for your gym class? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What's that? I can't hear you. Surely you can shout louder than that. Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. I want to see lots of jumping and climbing and running. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Slow down. Quicker, quicker! <laughs> Calm, harmony, stillness. Jump, jump, jump! Relax! <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing here? I'm doing a relaxation class. Well, I hope this children's party doesn't disturb you. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. I wonder how I can go. <laughs> Just try to relax. Stop relaxing now. Relaxation class is over. How did you find it, Mummy Pig? Very, very stressful. Funny. That's what everybody says. Why don't you have a go on the bouncy castle? <laughs> yes, I think I will. Whee! This is wonderful. I feel lovely and relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Who? Oh. Grampy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic. <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic. <laughs> oh, oh, you're right there. Uh, what about me, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> it is Mrs Duck and her friends. Hello, Mrs Duck. If you've come for the picnic, you'll have to wait for the little boat, like me. Or you could just swim across, like you're doing. <laughs> Here's the picnic hamper, everybody. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> and here are the ducks. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some cheese, Grumpy Rabbit? Well, uh, I should really be getting back. Oh, I do love a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love jelly. I love sandwiches. Strawberry! <laughs> <laughs> They've forgotten me. Here's some cake for you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> Is cake your favourite? It's Daddy's favourite too. Oh, where is Daddy? We forgot Daddy. Ahoy there! I've come to take you to the picnic. Hooray! Daddy Pig! Oh, we forgot you. But I saved you some jelly. I saved you a sandwich. And George saved you a strawberry. <laughs> How nice of you all. Is there any cake? No, we gave it to the ducks. But look! Mrs. Duck 
luck has saved you a worm. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> thank you, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. <laughs> it is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> oh, Granny and Grandpa, why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. It is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. Whoa! <laughs> That's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! 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 This is the airport. Goodbye! <gasps> Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <sighs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> You can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh! Put your... <laughs> Mummy Pig is buying lots of things to take home. Mummy Pig, we haven't got room for all this in our suitcase. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. They sell suitcases too. This is the village cafe. Ciao, Gabriela. My uncle makes very good pizza. You eat pizza in Italy? Pizza is Italian food. Oh, goody. I like pizza. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, into the oven and... Into my tummy. <laughs> Maybe we'll let them cook first, no? OK. Peppa, let's write the postcard to your goldfish. Yes, I miss her very much. To Goldie, wish you were here. Love and kisses, Peppa. <laughs> you can post the card here. Goodbye, postcard. Fly home quickly. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Mmm, yummy. Peppa loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. <laughs> Did you like that, Teddy? Yes, it was delicious. Magnifico, Uncle Goat. There will always be a special place for your pizza in my tummy. Thank you. Ciao. Goodbye. Oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy behind at the cafe. What a lovely, relaxing holiday we're having. Oh, dear! It's the police. Leave the talking to me. <laughs> Hello, officer. I don't know what I did, but I won't do it again. Mr Pig, you're Teddy. Teddy! Thank you. Just doing my job, signora. Pepper and her family have arrived back at their holiday house. Time for bed. Can we ring Goldie the fish, Mummy? OK. <laughs> You have had Mr Dinosaur a long time. I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Maybe it's about time you got a new dinosaur. Yes, we can go to Mr Fox's shop tomorrow. This is Mr Fox's shop. Mr Fox's shop sells everything. I'm sure we'll find you a lovely new dinosaur here, George. I'm sure. George does not want a new dinosaur. 
Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! wow. Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> roar! <laughs> George is playing with dino roar in the garden. Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Maybe Dino Roar should sleep somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath, or in bed. Daddy Pig, this study is a complete mess. It's not that bad. There are lots of cobwebs. I love cobwebs. They give the room character. Cobwebs mean spiders, and I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. <coughs> ah! A spider! Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh. Where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr Skinny Legs. Mr Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. I wonder where Mr Skinny Legs is. Ah! Ho, ho. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now Mr Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. <sighs> Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. <sighs> Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Pepper, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. 
It's a noisy night. OK, Peppa. Let's get you back to bed. Now, which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy. That's baby Alexander's room. Ah. Oh. <laughs> the light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop. Stop. I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes. We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget the alarm. Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. I can be quiet. It's not easy. It's not that hard, Peppa. OK, you do it then. Let's all do it. We can show my mummy. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, we're all going to be quiet. Very quiet. So quiet, you can drop something on the floor and hear it. Quiet as a mouse! <laughs> <laughs> You're not being quiet at all. You're all being very noisy. We can be quiet whenever we want. Start being quiet on the count of three. One, two... I'm not ready! OK, now. <laughs> Get on your marks. Ready. Get set. Three. Hello. <laughs> I'm home. Oh. I thought the house was empty. Peppa and her friends are playing at being quiet. It's not playing. It's very hard work. Oh, Peppa! Peppa cannot stop herself from talking. Oh, Daddy, I think I might be a chatterbox. That's not such a bad thing, Peppa. It's good to talk. In fact, I think you're an expert at talking. That's right. <laughs> I am an expert at Talking. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking too. No, you're not. I'm the chatterbox. I'm more of a chatterbox than you. Oh, <laughs> you two are just the same. Yes, we are. That's why we are best friends. Chatter, chatter. Peppa chatter, loves talking. Chatter, chatter. Susie chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, chatter. Everybody chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter. chatter. <laughs> Can we make something? Yes. What would you like to make? Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. Let's make an aeroplane. <laughs> George <laughs> likes aeroplanes. Can we make an aeroplane that flies? Yes. All we need is some paper. <laughs> we know where there's paper. <laughs> there is lots of old paper in the workroom. Here's some paper. Perfect. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Ooh. Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. My turn! Whee! Peppa's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George! Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop the loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. Daddy, Daddy 
guinea pig. Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow, fantastic. You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready, steady, go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. 